Today we are reading Chaitanya Charitamrita Machalila 8. We are going on with text 150. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvetra Chancha Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvetra Chancha Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvetra Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda we are reading talks between the Lord and Ramananda Roy. Yeah, oh. So, text 150. Sri Ramananda Roy then said, I have thus briefly explained the original form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Now, let me describe the position of Srimati Radharam. <laughs> Krishnera Ananta Shakti Tate Tina Pradhana Chit Shakti Maya Shakti Chiva Shakti Nama. Krishna has unlimited potencies which can be divided into three main parts. There are the spiritual potency, the material potency, and the marginal potency, which is known as the living entities. Text 152. Antaranga Bahiranga Tatashta Kahiyare Antaranga Svarup Shakti Sabara Upare. In other words, these are all potencies of God, internal, external, and marginal. But the internal potency in other words, We are reading now to some other ones you took. No, 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 no. You don't think. You print this that way. Again, text 
152. Antaranga bahiranga tatashtakayare. Antaranga svarup shakti sabara upare. In other words, these are all potencies of God. Internal, external, and marginal. But the internal potency is the Lord's personal energy and stands over the other two. Text number 153. Vishnu Shakti Para Prokta Chetriakya Tata Para Avicha Karma Sankhyanya Pritiya Shakti Ishate. The original potency of Lord Vishnu is superior or spiritual. And a living entity actually belongs to that superior energy. But there is another energy called the material energy. And this third energy is full of ignorance. This is a quotation from Vishnu Purana. Text number 154. Satchit Ananda Maya Krishnaya Swaru Satavata Atta Eva Swarup Shakti Hoy Tina Pru. Originally, Lord Krishna is Satchit Ananda Vikraha, the transcendental form of eternity, bliss, and knowledge. Therefore, his personal potency, the internal potency, has three different forms. Anandang Sheladini Sat Angse Sandini Chit Angse Sambit Yare Kiana Karimani Karimani. Ladini is his aspect of bliss. Sandini of external existence and samvit of cognizance, which is also accepted as knowledge. Text 156. Ladini Sandini Sambit Trayeka Sarva Samsraye Lada Tapa Kari Mishra Trayino Kuna Varchite. My dear Lord, you are the transcendental reservoir of all transcendental qualities. Your pleasure potency, existence potency, and knowledge potency 
are actually all one internal spiritual potency. The conditioned soul, although actually spiritual, sometimes experiences pleasure, sometimes pain, and sometimes a mixture of pain and pleasure. Jai Rade Gauravani. Jai Shri Rade. Can you repeat this sentence before the last one? I thought this was uh, a good a good sentence to hear again because I don't have the book here. I was wondering if you can repeat not the last one but the one before. You mean the verse before or just in the No, the sentence, verse? the sentence that the living entities uh, no, before the living entities I would like to listen. So you mean in this verse, in this text, it's more up. Did no, no, you what right? you were just reading, the last two sentences. Sätze. Yeah, you know, ein Satz zurück. Thunderbirds, everyone. Your, my dear Lord, you are the transcendental reservoir of all transcendental qualities. Your pleasure potency, existence potency, and knowledge potency are actually all one internal spiritual potency. So that is amazing, isn't it? That is all the in Antaranga Shakti Guru. Although there are three, they are one. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the beauty. Explain more. <laughs> it's all coming. It's. I think uh, uh, Jayanatna Maharaj can explain more. I am just a fool, but I think that uh, it is very interesting that they are three, but they are coming from one, from Antaranga Shakti, which is must be Shimati Radhika's love. I want to listen. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know also so much. So, originally, energy and, and energy source is one. So, it means uh, uh, Krishna is energy source and Radha is energy. Oh, no. Uh, so, energy and energies, uh, what is it? Energies, uh, so, okay. so, Shakti and Shakti Ma, no? You mean? Shakti and Shakti Ma, yes. Shakti and Shakti Ma is uh, from beginning one. So, Radha and Krishna is <coughs> from beginning, it is called, it is uh, one. So, but uh, from one, we cannot uh, enjoy, we cannot exchange rasa. So therefore, from one, oneness, expand energy. So energy is, uh, role is to please Shakti man, property of energy. So, Radhika is original energy of Krishna. So, and this energy, so this original energy is one actually. This is called, this is internal spiritual potency. Gurudev say uh, Antaranga Shakti. And uh, <coughs> So Antaranga Shakti is most represent most 
、えー、パリセ、アンタナクシャクティ、リプレゼント、オーソラダ。But this ラ So, but、uh, this Antananga Shakti has three quality. So, this is、uh, like a mat- Antananga Shakti and Bahiranga Shakti internal energy and external energy. So, external energy has three quality, Sattva, Rajas, Tamas. Similarly, internal potency has three quality.、Uh, Sambit, Sandini, Sambit and Fradini. So, and、uh, Radhika is very interesting. So, Radhika internal potency in working spiritual world. But、uh, Radhika? Oh, no, like internal potency working. working in spiritual world, external. Potency working for material world, generally speaking. So, and then, <laughs> among the spiritual world, there is many, like a Baikunta planet, and、uh, say, Ramaroka, Dwaraka, Mathura, and Brindaba. So, this internal potency, like Bahiranga Shakti, so if you say Radhika, Radha and Krishna, original one is in Braja. So, I don't know how I, I, I mean. <laughs> you go into very much details, Maharaj, i t s amazing. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe better not to talk, I talk maybe too long. So, Guru Dev this morning saying, Radha Gomindas Baj Maharaj, our Parama Guru Dev told Sad Maharaj, Antaranga Shakti become Bahiranga Shakti. Yes. And today we are leading in Shurimad Bhagatam,、uh, Tenth Canto, I think, introduction. This is、uh, a part of Yoga Maya become Mahaya.、Ah. Means from Yoga, from Yoga Maya become Mahamaya. So this is this,、uh, yesterday,、uh, Sachinandara Pabu <laughs> leading Bhagatam. So this also same thing describes. So, similarly, Radharani is always in Buraja. But if you want to go outside, Radharani b e c o m e Ananga Manjari. Also, Gurudev is saying so from Radharani, so from Radharani b e c o m e also Baradan. All, all energy c o m e from actually from Radharani, Antaranga Shakti. This,、uh, this Baradam represents the Sandini Shakti. So, anyway, so Radharani w a n t to, Radharani's main is like a Madura Rasa. In Braja. And if somebody if want to help another rasa, like、uh, Sakya rasa, Bassa rasa, etc., the, at that time, then Radharani b e c o m e Bararam. And also, and <laughs> Ananda Mantra. Yes, also <laughs> Ananga Manjari to help Radharani.、Mm-hmm. So, because Ananga Manjari is the sister of Radharani, 
she could help Radharani in different way. Like Gurudev is saying is uh, Ananga Manjari sometimes behave like Saki, like uh, sometimes Radharani could not uh, you know, do it. Sometimes Ananga Manjari, instead of Radharani, Ananga Manjari as Saki to, to, to please Mohan directly. But also sometimes if Radha is there and then Ananga Manjari as Manjari, she can help many pastimes of Radha and Mohan. So I cannot explain nicely. So anyway, this, this Antaranga Shakti also through Radha and also Balaram and then also Bahiranga Shakti external energy. This energy all coming from this original Shakti, this Radharani. But uh, if Radharani go to other place, Radharani cannot go and then send Ananga Manjari. That is uh, good Dave's explaining. Maybe my explanation is uh, not uh, good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. It's very good. It's not so easy to, to get it, you know, to speak it, to listen, okay, and to know the general, Antaranga, become Bahiranga, that is easy. But to speak it, the whole complex, that is uh, very wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I still not understand. <laughs> <laughs> It's a chintya guri. They have to speak for us, you know. Uh, really, <laughs> you know? I, I only know a Ladri Shakti. Some is Sunday, Sunday. Because we we don't we don't need it one sense. If we thinking always Radha Mohan in you know Nikunjalira, then you know we may not to know we we may we 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 don't we don't need to know so much. Just philosophical thing. <laughs> Yes, good. If, and in one in one uh, purport of Baba, I read that he says the knowledge and the and the eternity potency is not interested without Ananda. So they are not so interesting for the manjaris. Bliss oh is my. most important. <laughs> my my intelligence is not much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to speak of us, you know, yeah. Yeah, so, 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 dark, you know? so, 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 Without Radharani, Krishna would have no pleasure. He would so also have no existence. And he would no have existence. Yes. How he can exist without Radharani? <laughs> and he wouldn't have any knowledge yeah. without Radharani. <laughs> That's very rustic, Goravani. <laughs> Okay. Tatvik, Tatva was already explained, so I wanted to go on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> because this, is so rasa. <laughs> this can be digestible. <laughs> so I'm too much philosophical, you know. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I cannot it's understand it. this. Clear. Then I, when the, I'm learning that time, somebody's explaining, I say, I. You explain, but I don't really understand a lot of things. No understand. Really, still I don't understand. A lot of things I understand. Other shakti of Radhika is also there, sure. But how to understand? Yeah. And then really, this would also mean that actually we would not exist. Prabhupada, what say? Prabhupada lines to me. How he explained to the 
like a person. Prabhupada's words are very beautiful. No explanation, but the verse is not finished yet. Maybe something will come. Prabhupada is very rustic. He's not explaining <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, the conditioned soul, although actually spiritual, uh, sometimes experience pleasure, sometimes pain, sometimes a mixture of pain and pleasure. This is due to his being touched by matter. Wow. Marjana. Because I am also touched by matter, my soul and myself, right? Yeah. Because you are above all material qualities, these are not found in you. Wow. So, although he, he is creating everything, he's not touched by that, what he was creating. Your superior, uh, your superior spiritual potency is completely transcendental. Wow. And for you, there's no such thing as relative pleasure. Pleasure mixed with pain or pain itself. This was a quotation from Vishnu Purana 112.69. Text 157. Krishnake alade tate nama ladini se shakti tvare shukha ashvate. Apani. Wow. The potency called Ladini gives transcendental pleasure. Though this pleasure potency, uh, true, sorry, true, this pleasure potency, Krishna personally tastes all spiritual pleasure. <coughs> That means if Radharani wouldn't be there, no pleasure. Sukha Rupa Krishna Kare Sukha Aswadana Bhakta Gane Sukha Titi Latini Karana. Lord Krishna tastes all kinds of transcendental happiness, although he himself is happiness personified. Wow. The pleasure relished by his pure devotees is also manifested by his Pleasure potency. Wow. Yeah. There's connection to Gadatha in this moment. Or how, how we can understand this thing in further. This is Radha. Radha potency is Radha. And Ladi Nira Sara Angsa Sara Brema Nam Ananda Chin Maya Rasa Bremera Akha Akya. The most essential part of this pleasure potency is love of Godhead, Brahma. 
Ratia is not coming. Yeah, I say yeah, she's she's stop, the... she's a stop in Spain right now and it's probably with a one day or two days more. Entonces ha perdido su vuelo de aquí de, me, de Madrid a, a India. As it means that she lose the flight from Madrid to 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 India. O sea que tiene que solucionar y volver a hacer algo para el vuelo. So it, Contra. It, it means she needs to resolve that and buy another ticket or resolve the airline. Sí. The most essential part of this pleasure potency is God has Consequently, the explanation of love of Godhead is also a transcendental mellow full of pleasure. Yes. <coughs> Consequently, the explanation of love of Godhead is also a transcendental mellow full of pleasure. Can you explain Jananda Mata? Prabhupada, what explain? <laughs> no, I'm, my, my mind is not the point. <laughs> yes. Pranidha, Pranidha Sara Amsha. Uh, the Pradini Shakti. It's uh, this prema is Amsha. Prema is Amsha. Amsha. So it is uh, Radha Sakti. Mm. So this uh, Amsha means uh, he's a part, Prabhupada is a part. But not, not ordinary part, essential part. Uh, no, Most important part. part. Very nice. That is. Named Prema. That Gajantara also rather Sakti Prema. Of course, this is not mentioned. Really. Yeah. But uh, so among the Panchatattva, I recognize Anantas Baba always. See Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha Raj. But the Prabhupada, maybe for, for, for us, who is, who is uh, kind of, for maybe Bhaiti Bhakta, or maybe for, for us beginners, so Prabhupada mentioned Sri Chaitanya Babu to Krishna himself. So, and if, if some people say, if Chaitanya is Krishna himself, 
Then Krishna and Shakti is Radha. So sometimes people say Gadada is like Radha. So even Gayatri, Gayatri Mantra also named like that. So this is for my understanding for for Bhaidi Bhakta, not Rashika Vaishnava. But for if someone who is Rashika Vaishnava, like Ananta Das Bharat Maharaj, then we see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha. Because he has a mood of Radharani. Also Radha's color. Because Raga Bhakta always consigns mood feeling. So therefore, if we see feeling of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's Radha. Then if we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha, <laughs> then Gadadara Pandit is Radha Shakti. <laughs> so here Prabhupada did not mention the Shakti. <laughs> but this says Sara Amsha. This essential part of pleasure potency. So uh, this essential part, so we may understand this is maybe energy or so. In that sense, we may say <laughs> Nadada. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know good there. <laughs> I feel it's wonderful how you explain. Yeah. Thank you. Guru, Guru, if I don't know, um, I, I'm, maybe you remember when you were in first time in my place. Yeah, I had this picture. Of Pancha uh, Tattva. Here, actually, I, I also have wow. design. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> yes. And you explained actually in one in in one sharing very nicely. So, you said here in the middle, this is Radharani because she Krishna is in the mood. Of Radharani and also color. So it's like a sandwich. Krishna is just inside between the mood of Radharani and <coughs> the color, actually. So because Krishna is together with Radharani, actually, Radharani is even more shining. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's shining, actually. He's shining so much because actually. They are together yeah. when they are. Yeah. Yeah. Prashad Pakti Ja, Prashad Niyelo, Prashad Pabe, 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 more. That's why this combined form is shining so much, extremely. Whoever sees immediately captured because Prema is touching. 
So if we look from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to this side, we see Gadatha and Shrivas. Here is full Shakti. Here is a part of the Shakti, and here is a part of the part of the Shakti. On the other side, it's Nitai. Actually, this is now Bahiranga. <coughs> and we have Mahavishnu on the other side. So all things which have to be organized are actually on the right side, fully, full power of Radharani, organized everything nicely, because Vishnu and so on, everything is there full. And here is the Shakti, full Shakti, Prema Shakti and Bhakti Shakti also. So this is Shakti side, this is organizing side, but actually it's all Radha's potency, all her power. Music. Really, I you. Honest. You said no. You yes. Said, yes. I say all Radha, <laughs> but you more prediction against them. Please, you do. very nice. So here we have the full potency, the full Shakti, Radha, complete. Full shining because she's together with Krishna, even more shining, completely blissful Radha. On the left side, we have her Brahma Shakti, and out of Brahma Shakti, Bhakti Shakti, because this is very interesting for us. Wow, she's taking care of us. Wow. She's coming to take care of us so through this Shakti. She is giving us Shakti. But she also is giving us all organization which is which is needed, right? We need a beat back, we need a chapa, we need all these things. Actually, everything is included in Vishnu Shakti, uh, Vishnu Tattva. Everything. Whatever we can see, everything is there and everything is made by love. That's why everything we can see is actually full of love. Only question of if we have the eyes to see that this chair is full of love and it's actually we can take a seat to listen and share with Gurudev. That's love. That Gurudev has a nice <coughs> chair. That's love. That we have to eat, that we have this electronic to share, that's love. Everything is just love. In organization, in practical things, and of course, also practice. Because this is just Rema, everything. So I have this question. So you say this is Shakti side. But Nita you call the Bahiranga Shakti. So how can this also this is, uh, you know, I, I'm not clear to me. Internal potency mm. is coming to external potency. Mm. This is what Guru Dev said. So here, mm. this is actually the manifestation of Bhakiranga Shakti. This is coming. Nita is Guru principle, right? Mm -hmm. This we also need. Mm. Nita is so much more. How, how to explain Nita? This mm. will take hours, days, mm. weeks, mm. months, years, mm. centuries. I don't know how long. <laughs> and never, and yes. never, so never, never ended. Yes, never <laughs> ended. Mm. But to make a shortcut, so he is also expanding here, and all actually 
uh, up to to uh, Mahavishnu, Shiva, everything is there. So actually, all all is included. What we need, we also need the the, the three modes because some children want to be in unconsciousness because they want to play. Therefore, Shakti and, and organization is needed. You need a playing room and you also need the potency, the energy that the children can play. They have to be Maya. They, they have to understand, yes, yes, I am the king. Yes, yes. And, and I am the fighter and I am the princess. Like this. So, so this is all needed. And, and also it needs the, the material and arrangement. Like you need some Lego stones, you know, you can build your castle and all this. So actually everything we need to be in Maya is also there. That's also law. Everything is law. From completely Maya, unconscious, up to I want to be again in the law, like this. So, like I feel this this Bahiranga means sometimes we are thinking external energy. But in that, in this sense, my you know, I just feeling is so if somebody want to outside nikunja <laughs> that also bahiranga outside buraja also bahiranga <laughs> if, if we understand like this then more clear <laughs> yes 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 that's now clear. become clear yes 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 because Radharani is always inside, and when she wants to take her outside, then we know she is expanding. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So Ananda Manjari is taking care. Yeah. I'm just, you know, a parrot. It's your realization. I'm just, uh, yes. So punch that toy is so important. And all Gora both sides. Gauravani is really beautiful. I want to ask you. Gauravan yes. is what's, what is it? Really Gauravan. The golden, the golden words, Gurudev, to explain Panchatattva. Wow. Very nice. And I want to know, because it's easy to keep that Prema, you know, like Prema Gadada Pandit, Prema Shakti and Bhakti Shakti. Can we can we find also something for the right side? That is uh, how can we can we use some shortcut? Bahiranga <laughs> Shakti. Just Bahiranga. Mm -hmm. This is the shortcut actually. This is the shortcut. Like two is Bahiranga. Maybe uh, maybe Adubaita also. Bahiranga. Another another type of Bahiranga. Is also Bahiranga. But Bahiranga is praying to the Antaranga. He may only pray Krishna, but now Radha. Radha is the highest. Radha is Gauravani told, but Nityananda <coughs> uh, is uh, the potency which is healing capacity to play toys. He's uh, making play room. In this case, Advaita is Tatastha Shakti means uh, he is giving potency to choose. You can be here or where. Very nice. Because as Mahavishnu, I heard this from what Sugurdev told. We are, why are we praying to Advaita Acharya? Because he, uh, the Lord of Tatastha Shakti, 
he can help us not be how to say a pinpoint because he can give his capacity be pinpoint or he can help not be pinpoint i, I heard this advaita means non do not different from real guru he's acharya but i would understood and also it means not do from original truth in the advantage is not to separate, not divided. So two to one. Anyway, we, we will not go further in that, but yes. maybe we, we can meditate on this point. Premiera. Paramasara Mahabhava Jani Se Mahabhava Rupa Prata Akura. Uh -huh. yeah. The essential part of love of Godhead <laughs> is called Mahabhava. Uh -huh. Transcendental ecstasy and that ecstasy is represented by Shumati this is a very very essential part again Gauravani <laughs> Another? Can you read that again? The essential part of law of Godhead is called Maha Bhava. Transcendental ecstasy. And that ecstasy is represented by Srimati Vatarana. So it, it, it's, it's more boiled down here, actually. The essential part. We, we may say love of God is very. It's still very mm, broad, not specific, specific enough. What is the essential part of this love of Godhead? The essential part of this love of Godhead is that part which is giving him full ananda. Yeah. Otherwise, you cannot say it's essential, right? If you give some ananda. The essential part of love of Godhead is called Mahabhava. Transcendental ecstasy. And that ecstasy is represented by Srimati Radharan. Only she can give him full ecstasy. Yeah. Text one hundred sixty one. Sayo abhyo bhayo maje radhika sarvathadika mahabhava swarupeyam vinay ati bhariyasi Among the gopis of Vrindavan, 
Sri Matarani and another gopi are considered chief. Sri Matarani huh? and the rest of the gopis are considered chief. Uh, among the gopis of Brindavan, okay. Srimati Radharani and another gopi are considered chief. Chief. Chief, the highest. Chief. Chief. But when we compare the gopis, it appears that Srimati Radharani is most important because her real feature expresses the highest ecstasy of love. <laughs> what? No more than this. The ecstasy of love experienced by other gopis can not be compared to that of Srimati Rantanai. Bremara Swarup Deha Brema Vibhavita Krishnera Preya Si Shreshta Chakrate Vidita. The body of Srimati Radharani is a veritable transformation of love of Godhead. <laughs> she is the dear most friend of Krishna and this is known throughout the world Now there comes a state from the Brahma Sanghita to underline. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord who resides in his own realm, Goloka, with Radha, who resembles his own spiritual figure and who embodies the ecstatic potency Ladini. Yeah. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who resides in his own realm, Soloka, with Radha, who resembles his own spiritual figure and who embodies the ecstatic potency Ladini. Their companions are confident, confident, 
who embody extensions of her bodily form and who are imbued and permitted with every blissful spiritual rasa. <coughs> So, in other words, yeah, all the gopis are expansions from her. All right? Or how you would understand that? Thanks, friend. You are. I speak to the So, I worship Govinda, who is together with Radharani in Goloka. And Radharani is actually his own figure, because actually they are one soul, but two bodies, as we know. This is Chaitanya Charit Amrita, it, it is explained in Adi Lila. They are one soul and two bodies. <coughs> so they are together, and Radharani, is his own figure, but embodies his ecstatic potency, the ecstatic potency of the Lord. This is embodied by Radharani. Like we just said, without Radharani, no ecstatic feelings, no knowledge, not even existence. Because he cannot exist as half. And all extensions of her bodily form of course they are also have spiritual rasa inside because they are expansions of Radharani how, how it could not be like that they have this potency but they are just expansions of her so again it's very clear she is the source of all bliss of all ananda she is the fountain head and it's made very clear from different sides here actually from different aspects and astonishing for me this is a quote from Brahma Sangit but actually all confidential Things are inside. Also for Rasika Vaishnavas, not only information and by the mercy of Gurudev, we may actually see and feel this. Text 164. Se maha bhavoy chintamini sara krishna vansha puna kare e kaya tanru tanra. That supreme ecstasy of Sri Mata Radharani is the essence of spiritual life. Actually, this is so very clear. Again. That supreme ecstasy of Sri Mata Radharani is the essence of spiritual life. 
So actually, this is giving a hint to Manjuri Bar. This is Guru Devu. Hi. My understanding is like this. He's okay. <coughs> Chintamani Sara. Chintamani Sara. So, whatever devoted desire, <coughs> that desire rather than could be fulfilled. <coughs> Not only Krishna, <coughs> but all our desire also could be fulfilled <coughs> by the Master of Radha. <coughs> sure. The supreme ecstasy of Srimati Radharani. Is the essence of spiritual life. So what is the supreme ecstasy of Srimati of Srimati Radharani? They come together in Nibridini Punj. They exchange love in the highest rasa. This is the essence of spiritual life. And who is able to feel that? Only Manjuris. So Manjuri Bhav is the essence of all spiritual life. Here it's written. Wow. Jai Ho. Yeah. Is this Madhya Lila, Gauravani? It's Madhya Lila 8. Uh, text 164. Wow, wonderful. Even the numbers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Srimati Radharani's only business is to fulfill all desires of Krishna. Again, her only business, that means her only movement, her only intention is to fulfill all desires of Krishna. Krishna. So if she's able to fulfill all desires of Krishna, which he even doesn't know that he has, what to speak of fulfilling desires of Jivas. <laughs> She can astonish even Krishna in every moment. Mahabhav Chintamini Radhara Swarup Lalitati Saki Tanra Koi Yuha Ru. Srimati Radharani is the top most spiritual gem. Sometimes we hear that in the world, oh, new big gem was found. Biggest one. Very, very pure. This is just dust. Srimati Radharani is the top.
top most spiritual gem. Why gem? Because of the word, the material word, the word of, uh, how do you say, the word? No. Gem has facets, right? Facets, many facets. If there's a little light, like in the Kunja, the mandris, they use actually gem lamps. They, they have little oil and uh, a little flame and then gems around because gems actually give more light. Out of little, they make very, very much light. And every facet actually emanates a lot of light. So if you compare, Radharani is the source of all Shakti, of all light, spiritual light. So just imagine how she will shine. Srimati Radharani is the top most spiritual gem. And the other gopis, Lalita, Vishaka, and so on, are expansions of her spiritual body. In other words, facets. Okay. Expansions of your different qualities. I heard from Shalom this Maharaj who told Shema Tanadika is a director of the School of Law. In the school, many uh, departments. And each of Gopi, like Osaki means Malidu Shakave, main is in this school of law where Shima Radhika is director, means main teacher. Hyo Saki, Ashta Saki, they um, the, uh, they're the main teacher in each department. Like, for example, uh, Lalita, she has uh, particular capacity uh, to make ornaments from flowers or how to decorate uh, how to make different dresses uh, vishaka knows how to sing tungaida knows about music instruments and it's all but it's this all arts coming on how to say skillful skillfulness coming from cleverness coming from shimatra from yes wonderful Actually, we also can see in this connection that sometimes diamond has bigger facets and smaller facets, right? So we can see that Lalita Vishaka, they are bigger facets. But Radhadasis are smaller facets. <laughs> Text one hundred and sixty six Rata Prati Krishna Sneha Sugandhi Utvartana Tate Ati Sugandhi Deha Uchvala Varana. Srimati Radharani's transcendental body is brilliant in luster and full of all transcendental fragrances. Wow. 
we know that fragrances actually are if, if you smell something it actually produces some feelings right and here we can understand actually the source of that is radharani because of her fragrances the soul connection to her actually feelings arise when we smell something in this world may be good or not maybe bad maybe good but actually in our home ladini shakti of course it will be ecstatic more ecstatic even more ecstatic completely ecstatic <laughs> and mahabhav yes. madan mahabhav ecstatic so it will be in these categories but it will move us the light will move us the smell will move us and of course this blackish boy the bee and he smells he will come Lord Krishna's affection for her is like a perfume massage. Again, Lord Krishna's affection for her is like a perfume. massage perfume <coughs> means yes nice aroma perfume 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 massage like oil which is smelling nicely you take for massage like this but actually now shila prabhupada is giving a such a wonderful explanation that you could give another sharing actually just on this explanation but it's a really wonderful explanation prabhupada is giving here is that to this verse now next there is sugandhi utvartana refers to a paste made of several perfumes and fragrant oils <coughs> this paste is massaged all over the body and in this way the body is stirred and perspiration are removed Shrimati Radharani's body is automatically perfumed, but when her body is massaged with the scented paste of Lord Krishna's affection, her body. is doubly perfume <laughs> and made brilliant and lustrous so it shines even more and smells even more like chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu most brilliant This is the beginning of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami's description of Radharani's transcendental body. 
This description found in verse 165 to 181 is based on a book by Srila Raghunadas Goswami, known as Shuma Bocha Maranda. Srila Bhaktivinotakur's translation of the original Sanskrit reads as follows. The love of the gopis for Krishna is full of transcendental ecstasy. It appears to be a brilliant jewel and enlightened by such a transcendental jewel. Radharani's body is further perfumed and decorated with kumkuma. In the morning, <coughs> her body is bathed in the nectar of compassion. In the afternoon, <coughs> in the nectar of youth, and in the evening, in the nectar of luster itself. In this way, the bathing is performed and her body becomes as brilliant as the Chintamani jewel. She is dressed in various kinds of silken garments, one of which is her natural shyness. <coughs> Her beauty is more and more enhanced, being decorated with the red kumkuma of beauty itself and the blackish mask of conjugal love. Thus, her body is decorated with different colors. Her ornaments embody the natural symptoms of ecstasy, trembling, tears, jubilation, stunning, perspiration, faltering of the voice, bodily redness, like you get a red face if you're shy, madness and dullness. In the case when the elder are telling her something, you cannot go to Krishna, she's dull. <laughs> <laughs> she don't understand, she yeah, cannot hear. In this way, her entire body <laughs> is bedecked with these nine different jewels over 
and above this, the beauty of her body is enhanced by her transcendental qualities, which constitute the flower garland hanging on her body. The ecstasy of love for Krishna is known as Dira and Adira, sober and restless. <coughs> such, such ecstasy constitutes the covering of Srimati Radharani's body. And it is adorned by camphor. Oh, Gauravani! This, so, Adira and Adira is the restlessness and the soberness, right? Yes. So, I was thinking, uh, Jainanda, this uh, Adiruda Mahabhav, this is the restless uh, restlessness in the Mahabhav. Mm. That is another, like, higher, higher, mm. higher uh, feeling. Mm. That's because I was always wondering where this Adiruda comes from. It comes from Adira. Now I understand this from listening this. The uh, Adiruta and the Diruta. Yeah, there. This uh, Dira and Adira ne, is the two two different different uh, qualities. Mm -hmm. And Adi Ruda Mahabhav. I think it has something to do with this. Adira nature, restlessness, that makes it even higher. No, but this yeah. is only maybe some speculation, <laughs> I don't know. No. But from the Sanskrit, it sounds like Adi Ruda Mahabhav, but I don't know what is, if this is connected or not. Ruddha and Adiruddha. 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 In Adi, it's also Adi means so it can be different. Maybe, but I don't know. So her transcendental anger toward Krishna is embodied as the arrangement of the hair. On her head. So through the hair of her head, they are arranged. We can understand if she's anger. And the tilak of her great fortune shines on her beautiful forehead. The tilak of her good fortune. Actually, I heard that this tilak is Kam Yantra. Mm -hmm. Made by Manjari. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so in, in this way, it's, it, it's, a it's a description, actually. This is Kama Yantra. A Yantra is there to in, invoke something, right? To, to bring a result. You don't have any yantra if you don't want to have a result. So 
what result it could be, you can meditate on. That's a good fortune. Actually, it's Krishna's good fortune. But anyway. <laughs> Sri Mati Radharani's earrings are the holy names of Krishna. Sri Mati Radharani's earrings are the holy names of Krishna. So his name and his fame. Because she only wants to hear the name and the fame of Krishna. Her lips are always reddish due to the betel nut of ecstatic affection for Krishna. We know what is exchanged to lips when Radharani and Krishna are kissing each other. Why it is red? We understand. The black ointment around her eyes <laughs> is her tricky behavior <laughs> with Krishna. <laughs> tricky behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Brought about by love, of course. Her joking with Krishna and gentle smiling constitute the camphor with which she is perfumed. Actually, this is nobody is. Wow. This is so so condensed nectar. <laughs> she sleeps in her room with the aroma of bride. Why she can be bride? Because she is Jai Shri Radha. Because Jai. she always she always is thinking Krishna is mine and she always feeling this this is her pride. That is a natural natural uh, aura. <laughs> <laughs> she will not only defeat Krishna in dice games or other things. No, no, she is defeating him in the love games. <laughs> That's why he is only first. He cannot find any higher taste anywhere. So why he would be interested? to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So she can be bride, of course. Right? Yes. And when she lies down in her bed, the transcendental variety of her loving ecstasies is like a jeweled locket 
Kohle. In the midst of her necklace of separation. What is a jeweled locket? You have something inside, right? A locket, or isn't it? Do I understand right? The English word locket. Maybe a jeweled box that has a lock, or no, the locket is where it's lock locked. No, but the necklace has a lock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like to close it and open it. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, from the necklace, right? From her necklace. Yes. In the midst of the necklace, jeweled locket. Mm, sometimes very expensive, uh, uh, like pearl necklaces. No, when you have big pearls and very expensive, where the locket is, there's like another diamond around the locket, something like this. I can see. A jeweled locket in the midst of her necklace of separation. Hmm. Also, very what nice was, meditation. I what What was that again, Boravani? What was that? Which quality? Her, her loving ecstasy, oh. or the, the variety of her loving ecstasies, is like a jeweled locket in the midst of her necklace of separation. <laughs> So we can see that actually it's the beginning and the end, right? And it's also actually closing the, the circle. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting foundation for Smarana. Her transcendental breasts are covered by her sari in the form of affection and anger toward Krishna. Her transcendental breasts are covered by the sari in the form of affection and anger toward Krishna. She has a stringed instrument known as a kachapi vina, which is the fame and the fortune that actually dries up the faces and breasts of the other gopis. <coughs> She always keeps her hands on the shoulder of her gopi friend, who represents her youthful beauty. And although she's highly qualified with so many spiritual assets, she is nonetheless affected by the Cupid known as Krishna. <laughs> Thus, she is defeated. <laughs> Srila Raghunadas Goswami offers his respectful obeisances 
to Srimati Radharani, taking a straw in his mouth. Indeed, he prays, O Gandharvika, Srimati Radharani, just as Lord Krishna never rejects a surrendered soul, please don't reject me. This is a summary translation of the Brema Bocha Maranda, which Kaviraj Goswami quotes. Jai Shila Prabhupada. When I read this first time, I was, I couldn't believe. How could I overgo that? How dull I am, actually. I was reading this so many times, and I, it never stick. I was jumping over the honey. <laughs> Wonderful. Maybe you Somebody has some inspiration to share on this. <laughs> Text one hundred sixty seven. Kanyun Amrita Dharaya a Snana Pratama Tarunyamrita Dharaya Snana Madhyama. Srimati takes her first bath in the shower of nectar of compassion. Wow. And she takes her second bath in the nectar <coughs> of you. <coughs> Perfect. I should have broken. <coughs> Shimadi Radharani first smears her body with the paste of affection for Krishna. She then takes her bath in the water of mercy. After passing the Pauganda age from five to ten years, Srimati Radharani first appears as mercy. The second bath is taken at noon in the water of uh, Tarunya Amrita. <coughs> the nectar of youth. <coughs> this is the actual expression <coughs> of her new youthfulness. Lavan Yamrta, text 168. Lavan Yamrta, Jaraya Tat Uparisnan, Nitya Lachashyama, Atasati Haridhan. After her midday bath, Brother Rani takes another bath in the nectar of bodily luster. 
and she puts on the garment of shyness, which is her black silk sari. Again, after her midday bath, Radharani takes another bath in the nectar of bodily luster. And she puts on the garment of shyness, which is her black silk sari. Perfect. Over and above the other beds, the bed taken in the afternoon is taken in the nectar of full beauty. This nectar represents the personal qualities of beauty and luster. Thus, there are three baths in different kind of water. <coughs> Radharani then puts on two garments, a lower and an upper garment. The upper garment is pinkish and is her affection and attraction for Krishna. And the lower garment is a blackish silk sari. This is her shyness. Text 169. Krishna Anuraga Tvitiya Aruna Vasana Pranayamana Kanchulikaya Vaksha Achadana. Srimati Radharani's affection for Krishna is her upper garment which is in pinkish color. She then covers her breasts with another garment composed of affection and anger towards Krishna. Sundar so ah. Text 170. Saundharya Kumkuma Sakhi Pranaya Chandan Smita Kanti Kapura Tine Ange Milepan. Srimati Radharani's personal beauty is the reddish powder known as kumkuma. Her affection for her associates is sandalwood pulp. And the sweetness of her smile is camphor. All these combined together are smeared over her body. <coughs> Text 171. Krishna Ujvalaras Mrighamadha Bhara Se Mrighamade Vichitrita Kalevara. 
conjugal love for Krishna is an abundance of musk. And with that musk, the whole body is decorated. So now we understand why with musk, actually the pictures on breast and the body actually are painted with musk. The conjugal love for Krishna is an abundance of musk. Abundance means like uh, many different uh, spots on the body or pictures on the body abundance together like this of musk and with that musk the whole body is decorated this is a very clear sign you are mine Rajana mana vamya damila vinyas dira dira atma kakuna ange patavas. Craftiness and covered anger constitute the arrangement of her hair. <laughs> the quality of anger due to jealousy is the silk garment covering her body. Text 173. Text Raga Tambula Rage Adhara Uchwala Brema Kotilya Netra Yuga Lekajar. Her attachment for Krishna is the reddish color of betel nuts on her brilliant lips. Her double dealings in loving affairs constitute <coughs> the black ointment around her eyes. <coughs> Text 174. Let's go. Sudipta Sattvika Bhava Harshadi Shanchari Esabha Bhava Bhushan Sabha Ange Bhari The ornaments decorating her body are the blazing ecstasies of goodness and the constantly existing ecstasies headed by jubilation. All these ecstasies are the ornaments all over her body. I was just thinking how Krishna feels when he knows exactly what that means all these ornaments and when Radharani is fully decorated coming to him 
No wonder that it's actually he's falling. <laughs> wow. Kila kinchi dati bhava vingsati bushita Una shreni pushpa mala sarvange puta. Also ornamenting her body are the 20 kinds of ecstatic symptoms beginning with kila kinchit. Her transcendental qualities constitute the flower garland hanging in fullness over her body. <coughs> Purport by Srila Prabhupada. The 20 different moods headed by Kila Kinchit are described as follows. First, in connection with the body, there are bhava, ecstasy, hava, estrus, and hela, negligence. Negligence, like schmuck, is it called? Yeah. No, negligence heißt Vernachlässigung. Ah, okay. Thank you. Oder, ja, jemand ignorieren. Ah, like you ignore someone. Negligence. In relation to the self, there are Shoba, beauty, Kanti, luster, Dipti, brilliance, Madhurya, sweetness, Ragalbata, impundence. What is that? Somebody can explain. What is the word? Impudence. Ah, impudence, yeah. Impudence. Impudence. What is that? Unverschämt. Ah. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah, no problem, so. Somebody has another English word for that? Not. Impudence, no, it's like, uh, not prudence, it's when someone, uh, have this uh, uh, non, non prudence. It's not uh, when you don't take care about the, the things, just you jump to doing the things like. You don't take care, like uh, if in a dangerous situation, you don't care about it, you just do it. Mm -hmm. Even if it's dangerous. <laughs> okay, everybody understood, I hope. <laughs> Audaria. Magnanimity. So, so it's with magnetism. Or? No, no, so was, was bedeutet das? Große Herzlichkeit, sehr großzügig. Audaya, Goranga Mahaprabhu ah. hat einfach alles gegeben und Nityananda. Aha. Yes. Nobleness. Nobleness. Mm -hmm. So giving everything. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and Daria patience. And in relation to nature, there are Lila pastimes, Vilas <coughs> enjoyment, Vichiti breaking off, and Ribrama puzzlement. Like I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled means something like uh, I cannot get my mind together or something. Huh? Is, is this the meaning? Yeah. 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 yeah like that's completely is astonishing. Mind Vibram, getting. Vibram. Das heißt auch uh, Verwunderung oder auch, uh, dass man so bisschen uh, das nicht mehr nicht mehr durchblickt. Vibram, das ist ja auch eine, eine Art von Illusion. <laughs> like a kind of illusion. Huh? You don't really can see the things very clear, actually. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Uh, often it happened to me, but not out of the same... <laughs> There are no English equivalents for the word Kila Kinchit. Motaita and Kutamita. So Prabhupada admits there are actually no English words to, who could actually transfer this meaning. Srimati Radharani's flower garland consists of her qualities and is divided into mental, verbal, and bodily parts. Her attitude of forgiveness and mercy is all mental. Her talks which are very pleasing to her ear, are verbal. The bodily qualities are age, beauty, luster, and grace. 